Good morning. I'm on my way. It's so noisy. I'm on my way to get my CR test that I need to travel. Um, I'm running a little late and I mean, I'm just so scared. But I mean, it's gotta happen. I know so many people in the same situation as me right now. So we've just gotta do it and pray that it's all okay. And then I'm working from home today. So, I mean, hopefully that'll keep me distracted. I'm just stopping here. I am just out from getting tested. I'm so glad I booked. Um, it is so incredibly busy. Like there's already a line out the door now. The light's terrible. There's a line out the door now. Shit is not good. I'm gonna go get a juice or something before I start work. That kind of works. So, <clears throat> obviously back in my room now. Um, that was so weird. <laughs> when I got there, I was able to like walk into the center and like I booked, so you know, I think you have to book for that place. But by the time like, not even 10 minutes, when I was walking out, there was a queue with like 10 plus people outside. So that's terrifying. And um, I did buy myself an acai bowl, which looks delicious. So I'm gonna eat this and what time is it? Like switch on my laptop? Oh, I have like 20 minutes. So I just watch um, YouTube and eat this and try and calm myself down a bit. Also, someone let me know why it is 15 degrees Celsius in December in New York. That's it. So I went on TikTok and it turns out that was a really bad decision um, <laughs> for my mental well-being. Um, so yeah, definitely um, panic levels are increasingly rising. I kind of want to take another antigen test, but I took one like not even 12 hours. Well, yeah, probably like a little over 12 hours. No, it's close to 24 hours ago now at this point. But I just don't think there's a point. I will have my test um, before 1am. So I'm going to take lunch from work kind of early, um, I think, and I'm going to pack a little bit. I'm actually going to put on some laundry. I think that's what I'm going to do now because I've kind of done the, the project that we're working on right now. I've done what I can do for now. So I'm going to just put my laptop aside and put on some laundry um, just so that I have like clean sheets and everything when I come back. And um, yeah, I'm just so stressed. I believe London is kind of the same right now and I actually know someone who got COVID in London. Um, but when I posted on Instagram last night, I had like three or four people messaging me either being like, I'm in New York and I had to get tested today or I'm supposed to travel because Ireland requires negative tests for entry now. So yeah. I really do need to pack my bags. Um, when I say I haven't packed a stitch, I mean my, my suitcase is up there. The other suitcase is under the bed. I, I've done absolutely nothing. So um, I will put on my laundry and then I will use my bed for putting stuff on, like for packing, um, because it's gonna happen. You know, I'm so scared. <laughs> and I haven't cried about it yet, surprisingly. Very surprising for me. But I think I'm gonna get a bagel. I was gonna get a bagel tomorrow for lunch, like before I leave, but I think I'm just gonna get one today as well. I had an acai bowl for breakfast. I mean, like, I've had enough nutrition. <laughs> I need a Diet Coke. I'm gonna get like a bottle and crisps and a bagel, and I'm gonna have that for my lunch and enjoy it and try to hold it together, basically. <laughs> I think I'm ready to do it. <laughs> um, I'm still working, obviously. It's like, what time? It's like 3 p.m. after three. And I've been washing my bed sheets and my quilt throw is still in the dryer. I just, it wasn't quite dry enough. So I am gonna start putting things I'm like wearing, the clothes I'm wearing now. I'll wear pajamas and then I'll wear my clothes for traveling. So I guess I'm just gonna start putting things where they're supposed to be and when my work day's done, I'll be able to put some of those things away as well. Um, I'm just really realizing like how close it is. 
Um, but yeah, I've been sitting in the window. If you saw it on Instagram, I'll post it here if I saved the photo. I'm not sure. Perks of being short. I can just sit in the windowsill. So, um, yeah, I need to pack these presents and there's just a bunch of stuff. And as far as dinner tonight, as much as I like want to go out and get stuff, I have so much food here. <laughs> I was just getting something out of the fridge earlier and I realized I have so much stuff that I need to eat here. I'm just like in this weird scavenger mode. I think I mentioned it before where like, it's like I don't want to eat the stuff that I currently have because I know I, I'm fine to go out right now, but it would be for the fear that I would test positive and have to stay in and trying to figure out food and stuff like that because I don't have anyone here um, really. So, yeah it's just stressful so i kind of want to like almost save it but at the same time i don't want to just like leave loads of food to go off um because there is actually quite a bit there i had kind of forgotten so i'll probably eat that tonight and just maybe go for a walk about um still waiting on a few work things to wrap up as best as we can but yeah i'm gonna start putting things in bags or in this bag at least and then i will start to pile stuff up to go in the larger bag because there isn't room for it on the floor so it's maybe 7 p.m i decided to go on a silly little walk uh because i'm just like nervous sweating that's it i'm just at home nervous sweating i'm pretty much packed now um because there was so little to pack so i just texted my best friend and my brother See if they wanted me to bring any snacks. Um, I'm gonna buy some snacks. Well, not for them now. I think my friend is asleep, but my brother has made some requests. So I'm gonna do that and try and find some disposable masks for the travel tomorrow. So I can just like switch them out and maybe double mask. I'll figure that out. Um, but I, I don't have any, only reusables. And yeah, I'm gonna get a piece of pizza. I think I said earlier, I have so much food I need to cook, but um, I'm not gonna cook it because this is not a time to make rational decisions. So I'm going to go just to CVS and I'm gonna walk by the water and try and calm myself. Well, it is just after 10 p.m. and I still don't have my results. Um, so. I had banned myself from TikTok. I think I, I'm kind of pink because I'm just out of the shower, but it's just because I put on skincare. Um, I had banned myself from TikTok. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, um, but then I don't know why I decided to open it back up and I have all the right back decisions. So yeah, I came back from my silly little walk, seeing the lights and everything, um, and then had some pizza. I just had a shower. Um, I'm gonna edit the vlog previous to this because um, I actually haven't done that yet. So I'm gonna do that and I feel like editing always takes me a really long time. So hopefully it'll distract me um, for long enough. Yeah, I'm gonna stay up until one. I should technically, like I should, my results, I purchased a test that was for results in less than 16 hours, which will be just before 1 a.m. Me being awake at 1 a.m. is not unusual at all. Every time my phone buzzes, it sets me off. <laughs> so I just keep refreshing the app, because it was some fancy ass, I think it has an app. Um, so I just keep refreshing the app. But yeah, I just, I feel like they're gonna have to get it to me within the 16 hours um, because it's that kind of a test, because I know in some other places it's getting pushed out, but because I purchased that one, because it's like for travel, you know, and I need to, I can't check in for my flight until I have that because I have to do this very fly thing. Um, I have this weird bun going on. I accidentally get the back of my head wet in the shower. So it'll be a terrible hair day tomorrow. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna turn off the bigger light. I'm gonna pack actually maybe some needle point stuff. I'm just unsure about this whole like pack word. Um, I realized I'd forgotten to pack underwear. Okay, like I have so much stuff at home, that's why it's like not that big of a deal for packing. But um, I feel like there's a lot of people in my situation right now. Um, and it's kind of scary, but whatever happens, happens, I guess. I think the next time I will pick up the camera is um, probably whatever time I get my results. Um, like I have to get them tonight, really. Um, so I will 
pick this up and open them with you. So I just switched on a light and it is just about five past one. Um, I technically, my 16 hours was 8.55 a.m. Um, so it would have been five to one. Um, and I know I'm like being really exact about it, but when they said less than 16 hours, I thought they meant it. <laughs> Um, but at this point I'm just gonna have to go to sleep. I mean, I probably won't fall asleep for a little while um, And I'll keep checking my phone, but if I remember I'll pick up the camera um, But yeah, it's pretty frustrating to have paid so much money for a You know get your results back really quick certified for travel thing. I'm getting emails from um, My airline, you know, cuz I have to like fill out different things for being um, you know, traveling between the US and Ireland and whatever, and like I can't check in for my flight without this information either uh, until you have your test to like to submit, they won't let you check in. So, yeah, it's all getting kind of stressful. Um, I thought I did what I could, I could have gotten tested a little bit earlier, um, but I was just trying to figure things out at the time, and um, yeah. I would have thought it would have been okay, but even if it took 24 hours, then I would get it in time. But it's just like going to sleep the night before my potential flight. Um, not knowing is not ideal, but it's what's happening. So just thought I'd show you what can really happen, I guess. Good morning. <laughs> it's like... 7 a.m. No, it's almost 8 o'clock. Um, and I got my result, thankfully. It's negative. I meant to pick up my camera and film it, but I obviously just woke up. So um, I'm going to get up in a couple minutes. Um, I was just kind of texting everyone to make sure everyone knew that it's all good. And then I need to, I'm going to like upload it to the verify thing and do all of that here um lying in bed and then i will kind of get my day started and run around book my uber all stuff like that so but amazing news i'm so glad i think it's not it needs to like set in now that i do actually get to go home and you know see everybody and snuggle my dog everything so it's a good day so I'm just pulling out my suitcases from over here making sure everything is in there I need to pack my backpack and then I need to go run those errands I think I said that I want to get bagels and stuff so it's so weird that my test is negative I'm just like still angsty about the whole thing um, but very, very thankful, of course. It's time to put everything I can pretty much into the suitcases and tidy up here, ready to leave. And it's like 8.30 a.m. My Uber's at 1.30, so I have time. Oh my God, I go home. So my packing is pretty much done. I didn't put on like full makeup because I'm gonna be wearing a mask like for hours. So it just doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna grab the bits for my brother, my best friend, get some bagels and get a bite for myself as well. Oh my God. So I just got the bagels um, and hand sanitizer. Um, and there seems to be like, I know there's a, a schmear shortage, you know, there's a cream cheese shortage, but I think there might be like a Flame Hot Cheetos shortage too because I cannot find them anywhere um, and my brother requested them but unfortunately I have not been able to deliver I got the bagels I got some other treats for my friend but uh, shit is wild out there there are two clinics nearby and the line is wrapped around the block for both of them for COVID testing um, I'm getting out so I'm gonna eat the food that I picked up, pack the bagels, and then just tidy here. 
and you know make sure the food in my fridge is good and everything and give what isn't to my roommates so this is kind of scary i'm literally dropping off my leftover antigen to someone in the building because i need all the good vibes right now someone in my building's chat just um because it's like a short-term lease building and there's a lot of young people here um they asked if anyone had a spare at home rapid because even the lines for those are like two hours um because they're sold out everywhere um so i brought that down left it in the lobby and texted him right away so hopefully he gets it and it doesn't get taken by someone else because they are a hot commodity right now um i'm pretty much packed up to go i say that with all the stuff on my bed um i've just been uploading the vlog previous to this and um i'm gonna keep working on that i pretty much just have everything i just need to set it like schedule it to go live and um then i'm gonna like make sure i have my toothbrush and all those like really last minute things and um get ready to go i just posted on instagram and tiktok follow me on both of those i'm at anime by design on both mask on backpack with two laptops carry on and check in we're ready to head out I just you know new york i love you but i do not want to be here right now i've just been talking to my phone it wasn't recording i'm at jfk now i just had some disgusting pizza and i'm about to go and get something um to drink like hot chocolate or something before i get on my flight this is like six hours and i'm hoping to sleep So I'm in Ireland. It was very hectic in the airport because I have two bags and I'm outside my aunt's house right now talking quietly because I don't want to wake people up because it's like 5 a.m. But I'm here, the air is clean and I'm like very awake but also very tired and talking too quietly. So I'm here. Yeah, so it uh, looks like people aren't as easily woken as they might like to think um, <laughs> because I went upstairs, used the bathroom, took off my shoes, went into the room that my mom was in. She's asleep. So um, I don't want to wake her. It's like five o'clock in the morning. So I'm just going to drink. This is just water because I really don't feel like I could sleep right now. But what else am I going to do? I am going to end this vlog off here because it has definitely been way too long. Hopefully I'll pick right back up later on today. You know, maybe as we drive home or something. Um, so subscribe to see that. Follow me on Instagram at Anime by Design and TikTok the same. And I'll see you in my next video.